<laughs> hey folks, it's nighttime as you can see. Now the video you're about to see was shot during the daytime hours. That's right, because I learned something here and I want to put it here as the uh, prefix of this here video to let you know why I'm doing the video. We've got one product that says it's compatible with many other type of products and it does hold up to it, yet in real life, sometimes it don't. Uh, it's about a camp made product versus several others like Lodge and Ozark Trails. So that's what this video is about. It's long enough, I could have edited it just to give you the facts and the factos right then and there, but where's the fun in that? This is man land. It's called an adventure. So y'all gonna see how it turned out the way I seen or saw how it turned out as I was filming it. Because I want to be truth, honesty, and only the man land 121 way. Y'all take them easy, take them here. Here's a video. Long enough. Yeah. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm amateur artist Mark D. Chandler of Manland. The reason why I'm making this video is to show off another product I think is a great outdoor product. This right here is the Camp Made product. This is the lifting lid or lid lifter and serving stand. And it can do an awful lot of other things too. It's got a lot of accessories that you can purchase to use along with this and your actual Camp Made Dutch oven. Well, today I don't have a Camp Made Dutch oven. I have just their lid lifter and Wee Wee bought this for me and I'm kind of excited because she knows I ain't got nowhere to hang my lid. <laughs> so we're going to give this a try. What's nice about this is this product claims that it will work with all Dutch ovens. I'm going to show you a close up. Wee Wee purchased this product, Camp Made Dutch Oven Solutions, using Strong's Adventures promo code. Now I've seen Bill Gowdy use this quite a bit. And I have to say, well, I'm kind of impressed. But it was Strong's Adventures that we, we saw the video, and she used his promo code to purchase. Now, what I'm interested in, not only can it do an awful lot of things that it claims, it says it's very versatile, works with all Dutch oven brands and sizes. 8 inch, 10 inch, 12 inch, 14 inch, 16 inch, and that the fact that it actually stores inside the Dutch oven itself when not being used. Today we have the Ozark Trails cast iron Dutch oven, four quart, that you find at Walmart. And we're going to see if this is compatible with a totally different brand. Strong's Adventures. Y'all check his channel out. Had to be run by a fellow by the name of Jason and his wife, Rhonda. Two fine folks out there. And once again, we appreciate it. We've already taken the plastic wrap off. Let's take a look inside. My very first time seeing what's in here. Well, looks like it has packaged quite quite nicely. Had the outside plastic wrap and now the Dutch oven lid lifter seems to be also, wow, check that out, inside the plastic itself. Yeah, I know that doesn't sound impressive to anybody, but it does to me. Has this nice little pamphlet inside there with some very colorful pictures about their products and such. Uh, but there's one thing I'm going to turn over to the back. It says there also, but I'm going to turn around the back. It shows a picture with a big red X. It says, wrong. Do not use the charcoal holder under the spring handle or it will cause damage. Flip the stand upside down, attach to the grill or lid, then attach the charcoal holder. Well, that's kind of interesting to know. And we'll probably take a closer look at that once we get this thing actually unpackaged. I'm going to save this, of course, and the box. That way I can always refer back to it there. Let's take a look at C. Hey, it's nice and compact. It's very nice and compact. And thick plastic. Wow. Not bad at all. Ooh. Looks like even the little rubber legs, they seem to come in a package all their own. Oh, that's kind of nice. 
and it looks like it's stapled. We'll take that off. And it looks like the lid lifter here is <laughs> first thing I've just noticed. For some reason, the little legs right in here, they're actually numbered. It says number one, number two, and then finally, number three. These appear to be the hinges for the legs. Let's take a look here. I guess it tells you in which position to actually fold them down first. A little tight, not bad. So it's not just going to flop out on you. Yeah, that's that's what that does. Oh, check that out. <laughs> Boing. Springs into position. <laughs> uh, don't have the rubber legs on there yet, but let's take a look at what makes this thing so useful. It's a spring that you lift down and it grabs the lid. Let me put these little rubber feet on here and we'll give it a try on the Ozark Trails. All brand new, nice and shiny. Camp made logo right there on the handle, the spring handle. I think I'm really going to like this. In the background you see of course the Ozark Trails Dutch oven. This appears to fit over and rest on top of the lid. You take this and press down, that hook grabs, and then you're supposed to just actually lift. Well, look at there. It does a fine job of lifting. And then you set it to the side, like this, and then set your lid directly on the ground. Not a whole lot of ground clearance there, but it does. It keeps it off the ground. And that's a very <laughs> brilliant design. I like that. Place it back on top. Push down, pull back. Very, very ingenious. But there's more that this thing can do. I don't have all the attachments, but I think I can use it right now as it is for some things that I need it to work for. It's going to do fine. But before I go any further, any further, I want to see if this thing compacts back down, goes back into the Dutch oven. One thing that's nice about this, these little rubber feet, you pull them back off, and it keeps everything clean. Fold it back up. These right here could be stored in a separate baggie inside your Dutch oven. And Dutch oven. And well, it keeps everything from getting so much dirt on it. I like that. That's that's kind of nice. Just put on and pull off. Wow. Removing the rubber feet. All we've got to do now is fold it according to the numbers here on the leg. And one would assume, without reading the instructions. <laughs> That number one would go first, number two, then number three. Lift the lid. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Well, kind of, sort of. Interesting. Okay, it does go in there, but it takes a little bit of finagling. Hmm. Hmm. It appears that it don't quite fit in the Ozark Trails Dutch oven like I thought it should. I mean, it fits in there, but the lid doesn't quite go, you know, rest in the closed position all the way. But still, I'm not worried about it. Let me bring out the next one. I've got a lodge. Let's see what it does in it. Well, here's the lodge. And uh, I believe this is a five quart versus a four quart. Let's take a look and see. Oop, <laughs> spring out of there. Let's take a look and see how well this fits. Ooh, I got some leftover oil and popcorn. <laughs> oh, yeah. That fits in there nicely. Oh, yeah. No problem there at all. So, if you got the Ozark Trails, it will fit, but the lid won't seal down tightly. 
Uh, let's do that again. Just for demonstration purposes. Yeah. Back on. There. Boy, I'm just having nothing but problem with these Dutch ovens today. It does fit somewhat, but still, you have to kind of force it on there. And it's still got a kind of a little rock. It does fit, but not as well as I'd hoped it to. But anyway, I'm not knocking the product. I think it's actually going to do something else that I'm really going to like, which is actually lift the lid. Let's check it out on the lodge. Let's see what it does. Um, okay, put this back down this way. There we go. Yeah, it definitely sits on top. This doesn't have the lip like the Ozark Trails does. Let's see how this right here does. It's, you know, I'm thinking it's going to scoop inside and it doesn't quite sit on there quite stable. Let's find out what it does here. Oh, but it does lift the lid. And on the ground it goes. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, it works. Can't be. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, yeah. Hey, it works as it says it does. Something that I need to tell you itself, it says directly right there on the front of the box. Uh, that second line right there says, this camp made uh, lid lifter will store inside a 12 inch Dutch oven or larger, but that it actually works on the eights and up as far as usability. It may not store inside of it, but it's still gonna work on it as far as its function. Wow talk about not reading properly <laughs> read and understand your instructions carefully now here's something I like with the lid in place and this sitting on the ground supporting the lid off the bottom you can put coals on top of the lid and by doing so even though this Ozark trail has the trivets on the bottom it actually sits on top of the stand to keep everything warm while a big rig comes down the road The only problem with this position here is you're not able to adjust the distance. Your fire coals, your charcoal here, wood, whatever you're using, you're not able to raise or lower. This thing is pretty much set in one position and that's what you got to work with. Now this is kind of where it gets a little bit creative. We're actually going to take this off, lift the entire unit upside down. And by doing so, ha, huh, hey, I see some real possibilities. Looks to me like if I get that one extra piece, I could put a base of charcoal under here and then use my top as a wok, a pizza pan type of oven, or, you know, there you go. I think it'll work good as a grill in that position. Now, here's a picture of what I'm trying to show you because I don't have all the accessories just yet. In other words, it's a charcoal holder. You place that lid on top, and there's a special pan you buy to put here inside the stand, and that's what creates the walk effect. With some further attachments, you can also turn this actually into a grill. Charcoal down at the bottom, grill on top it appears. Yeah, looking kind of forward to this right here once I start getting all the pieces together. <sighs> but right now, I'm just happy to have the lid lifter. Oh, and there's one other thing that this pot lid can do. This hook in the upright position is curved backwards for a reason. Ah, Dutch oven. Well, maybe not with this handle. Doesn't work too well with it. No. 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 Not with the Ozark Trails. But with the Lodge, yeah, you can pick the whole Dutch oven up. That's kind of nice. Too bad that feature doesn't work on the Ozark Trails. 
Uh, but it does its job. And I kind of like that. Well, the camp made handle lift system there is not really compatible with all Dutch ovens. Unfortunately, it's just not. But I'm not knocking the product. If I, if I actually had a camp made Dutch oven, it probably would work well with its own other products and related products, brothers and sisters alike. <laughs> But it is compatible with a lot of Dutch ovens in one way. It will lift the lid. And thus far, with the two that I have, Ozark Trails and the Lodge, it will double as a stand in itself. That's very useful out there in the sticks. You know, you ain't got a lot of tables out there. Well, that's just the way it is. <laughs> so I'm very satisfied with the product. You're going to see this in future videos, I'm sure. And uh, I want to thank Strong's Adventures once again and Camp Made for making a product. I think it's going to be very, very useful here at Manland and our car camping adventures out there when we actually get a chance to do some. So thanks to Wee Wee of Wee Wee's World for purchasing this little happy for me and uh, wishing you and y'all a very happy YouTube experience out there. Until next time, bye bye. Oh, <laughs> forgot to tell y'all something because somebody is going to ask me this question is how much this thing costs? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. Wee Wee says that uh, it was for $39.99 and there was a TV special going on for $19.99 and that was not lasting but just a little bit of time. But she also used Strong's Adventures promo code to get it for $16. So $16 is what we've got invested in this little puppy. And, uh, you know, I can't really tell you the price because you know, you've got promo codes, you've got discounts, you've got this, that, and the other. I guess it just depends on what time of day it is when you finally decide to make that purchase. Don't worry, there's a link to the description box below. Not to the description box below, but in the description box below. There's a link to find the Camp May product. There's a link to Wee Wee's World. There's a link to Strong's Adventures. And, heck, might as well you can throw in a link there for... Uh, you know, good old fashioned Bill Gowdy. Bill Gowdy Adventures, you know, oh man, great fella too. So until next time, finally signing off. No, really signing off this time. Yeah, a bone's over there cooking on the grill, and I'm gonna go eat. Now. I wasn't kidding you. The bone's got it going on. I'd just be cooking. The grill myself. Mmm, the pork chops are in the oven. Oh, pork chops too. Uh, uh, mm. They they done. Let's eat. Num 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 num. News flash. While shooting this video here of the camp made Dutch oven lid holder, I forgot to mention this also came in the package. This is the Camp Made Firestarter Fuel Cubes. Oh man, it's got a lot of interesting stuff on there. And we'll shoot a video on that separately. But it also came with the product as a freebie. Now ain't that neat.